What's up everyone, how you doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to our Minecraft Medieval Harbor. Last episode we worked on the warehouses here from our survival world and guys thank you so much for all of your feedback and your kind comments about this build, you guys seem to really enjoy it and today we're going to go ahead and build another one from our survival world which is going to be this build just over here with the tower on the side of it. Now as you can see guys this one is actually done a little bit in reverse so the diagonal is facing the opposite direction and the tower is on the left rather than the right. But overall guys I think this is a really cool build and I really like the way that it looks. And um, yeah it's very similar to this build that we've done over here a few episodes, it's still diagonal house. It's very similar to the style of this one, the only difference really is that this one has a tower on it instead. So we're going to go ahead and get this all in place. So let's go ahead and get building. Okay guys, this one is going to be on a diagonal as you can see, but it's pretty simple. We've got the green blocks that are two blocks, the yellow blocks that are three blocks and the pink blocks that are seven blocks. Now I'm going to go ahead guys and I'm going to roll all of the items that you're going to need to build this one across the screen now. So if you need to pause it at any point, be sure to pause it, take down everything that we need. And with that being said, let's go ahead and build this. Okay, starting from the right hand front corner, we're going to place a stone brick and then three cobblestone like this. Go diagonally back and to the left and place another three. Diagonally back and to the left, place another three. Diagonally back to the left and place two like this. And then a stone brick on the end. Now we're going to go diagonally back and to the left and place two stone bricks. Diagonally back to the left and place one stone brick with two more behind it like this. Now we're going to go diagonally back to the right, place two stone bricks. Diagonally back to the right, place one stone brick and two cobblestone. Then we're going to go diagonally down and to the right and do three cobblestone. Diagonally down to the right, three cobblestone. Diagonally down to the right, three cobblestone one stone brick on the corner and then five cobblestone down like this to join up to the block we started with. Now we're going to go ahead and raise these to four blocks high making sure that we use the same blocks as the one below. So this one we're going to go one two three to make it four. These ones here we're going to keep as cobblestone and we're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around. Okay guys, now we're going to quickly just break in the doors and windows here. So first of all, we're going to start from the right hand side. We're going to leave a two block gap and then break two down like this. So we should be one up from the bottom. In here, on this three here, break the two in the center. This one here is where we're going to have the doors. So we're going to place three cobblestone like this. Okay, and then break these two here for a doorway. And then this one here, break these two here for a window. Now, just get your slabs and round this little edge here, we're going to place three, three um, slabs coming down here and three across here, okay? Just to make a nice little entrance way for the door. Now, go ahead and get your dark oak log and we're going to place one on this corner like this and then we're going to go one, one, two and one here. We're then going to place one on this corner, this corner and this corner and here we're going to go on the inside and place one, two, one, two and one, two just like so. Over on the right hand side here we're going to place five down like this and then one facing downwards on that corner. We're then going to place one on this corner. Okay so this straight piece here is going to have two sticking upwards. Then we're going to go to this corner, this corner and this corner here and then we're going to go one two, one two, one two, one two. Okay. Now I'm going to get my stone bricks again and I'm going to raise this up by one because we're going to keep this in line as we're building. Now go ahead and get your dark oak stairs and starting from the right hand corner over here, we're going to place one here, leave a two block gap, place one here. Place one here and one on the corner, leaving a one block gap. One here, one on the corner with the one block gap. One here, one on the corner again with the one block gap. Then we're going to place one here on this corner and then if we come over to here we're going to go to this corner here and then we're going to go every other block like so. 
Round this side here, we're going to basically repeat the front. So leave a two block gap on this corner one here because it's four long. And then on the three ones here, we're just going to place them on the ends like this. And then one on this side here. Then in the gaps, go ahead and place your dark oak slabs. Make sure it's on the top half of the block. Okay, starting on the right hand side here, right on this pillar where we started, we're going to place a dark oak log on top of the stair that we just placed. And we're going to raise it to four blocks high in total. Then to the left, leave a two block gap and do another one here. Now we're going to go from that corner there directly to this corner, then this corner, then this corner. So there should be a two block gap between all of them. And then we're going to place one on top of that stair too. Now we'll raise them in just a moment, but we're going to come over to the opposite side and pretty much repeat what we've got on that side. So one here, one here. We're going to have one on the inside, one on the inside, one on the inside, one on this corner. And then across the back here, we're going to put one on this corner and one on this corner. Now, simply go ahead and raise all of these by three blocks to make it four in total. Once you're done, get your stripped spruce wood. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to place two in here, two in here, two in here, two in here. Then five across this side here. Two in this gap. Make sure they're facing the same way. Two in this gap, two in this gap, two in this gap. And then we're going to go ahead and raise them to the same height as our logs. Okay, so one, two, three on top like this and go ahead and do the same thing all the way around. Once you're done, come over to the tower on the corner here and raise it up to the same level as well. So again, placing four blocks on top. Now we're going to go ahead and break out some windows here. So what we're going to do, starting from the right hand side, we're going to keep to the left hand side lock here and break these two here for a window. We can do the same against this one, this one, and this one. Then we're going to come around to the back here. And again, we're going to go from this side where the log is, break this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then on this corner here, we're going to actually have a little bit of a bay window here. So go ahead and break these two like this in the center, and we can leave the rest as they are for now. Now go ahead and get your dark oak slabs. And starting where this upside down stair is, here is on the right hand side, we're going to place four across the front here, three here, three here, and three here. Then we're going to go around the back, do exactly the same thing. So go three, 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 and four, just like this. Now we're going to go ahead and just make a little support under here. So let's break this one here. So where you've got the two logs in the corner, this one right in the middle here, we're going to break that, that slab there put an upside down stair and then one upside down stair just there and if you wanted to you could make that one there a full block just to make it look a little bit stronger and the only reason i do this guys is just to make it look like an extra bit of support over here and we're going to do exactly the same on this side here like so and again we're going to replace that with a full block now over this side here if you really wanted to again guys you can do the same thing like this and then replace that block there and I think that's more than enough to make it look supported. Now you haven't got to add these, these are optional, but they're just there in case you want to. Okay, now at this point guys, I would go onto the inside of the build here, just like this, and start filling in your floor. Now you don't have to dig down for this because like I said, the door's gonna be at this level here. So just go ahead and just place it on the inside here and fill all of this up. I'm gonna go ahead and use the spruce wood for this, but you guys can use any flooring of your choice. Okay, once your flooring is in place, let's go down to the side of the build where the tower is. And right on the same level as the logs here, let's place a spruce plank here. One on this corner and then join them together. And then we're just going to fill backwards like this and fill in the rest with our floor. Making sure we leave this gap here because we're going to create a stairway there a little bit later on. Okay, now that the flooring is all in place, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place a log on top of these logs down the side here. Okay, then we're going to paste one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like this. This corner here, let's place two logs here and two logs on here. We're going to place one down the side here. And then two in between the gaps like this. And then on the end here, we're going to go one, two and one, two. Perfect. Now let's go ahead to where the tower is and now we're going to place two more layers. So up to here, okay, like this all the way around. 
And then now for the next one, we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, place three across the back there, place a temporary block there and bring one over and then one, two, one, two to make it a three by three hole in the center. Okay. Now we're just going to go ahead for now and raise it by two more. So let's go two more up. It will be raised a little bit more, but I'm just trying to kind of do it gradually as we're going around. Okay, now let's get our dark oak stairs and we're going to start getting in the roof. So starting from the left hand side here, right across where these logs are across the top, we're going to place four stairs like this and then one and two on this corner here, an upside down one on this end and then we're going to go one, upside down one, one here, upside down one, one here, upside down one and we're going to do that until we get to here which is right in line with the center where the window is okay and then we're going to put an upside down one facing that way and we're going to repeat the same thing on this side now this side will be very slightly different because on that edge there we want to face a stair that way towards the flat part of the log and then bring the other five across this way upside down stair here one on top and we're going to do this all the way until we join up with the stair up there and then once you get to there, just put a normal stair on top and an upside, upside down stair facing outwards like this. Now we're going to go ahead and just fill this bit of the wall in. So just go ahead and put five blocks in here, another five on top. Then once we're at the same height as that log there, we're going to go five more, three more and one more. Okay, just to fill in the gap here. Okay, and we'll work on what we're going to do there a little bit later on. Now back to our dark oak stairs and here's where the roof's going to slightly get just it's simple but it can be confusing sometimes. So if we face towards the right hand side of the build where we started, place a stair that way, that way and then that way and then on the corner here actually, uh, yeah one on this corner here like this as well. Then you can go ahead and you can place one on this corner here because we're going to be going up to there. So put one there and then an upside down one underneath. Then you're going to go one, two here, one, two here, and one, two here. Now the idea is basically to repeat the same pattern all the way to the top. So your stair is facing that way, so you'll place one here. Then you want to go up and over one like so. Break that one. Up, over, break that one. Up, over, break that one. Okay. And then we've got to do the same for these ones. So we could just go up one, up one over, up one over one and then up one over one. So you should have one, two, three, four stairs, five including the one on the first edge, okay? Do that again for this one here as well, guys. So bring that one up. And this one, you may end up finding that you have to break it off a little bit earlier. No, you should just about be able to fit it in. Okay, just to there. And then this one over here, guys, we've actually got an extra log here that we didn't need to be there. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and place that one like so. And in fact, actually, guys, I'm sorry. I just realized this corner is slightly wrong. Break these stairs here. We're supposed to overhang like this. And then upside down stair here. Stair here, stair here. So that log would have stayed there. I do apologize, guys. I slightly messed that one up there. So yeah, you'll have one stair here and then one, two, three, four on this corner overhanging that, that last log there. Right, now that we got that all in guys, it's literally a matter of joining this stair across to this side, this stair to this side, one in that gap there. That one can actually stay like that for the moment. Then we're going to place two across here, two in here, two in here, two here. And guys, I think you guys are seeing the pattern now. Just keep them coming all the way across. The only time it changes is when we get to this side here and we just basically run straight stairs across to the next gap, which is there. Okay, that's looking good. Now, if we go ahead and we get our dark oak planks here, okay, we're going to get them and place them just behind the back here, okay? So one, two, three, four. Then because it comes out, we're gonna come out of it, three, out again, and three, okay? 
And then here, we're going to go ahead, I think, and place one now. I'm pretty sure that's got to come in. Yeah, one there. Now, down to this side, we're going to more or less repeat what we've done, guys. So we've already got one curved stair there. So let's go a curved stair, a stair there and a stair there. Then we're literally going to go one and two, one, two, one, two, three. And on this side, we're going to do it right, guys. One there and one overhanging. Upside down, one behind it, one on top, one up there, and make sure you get that stair underneath there to finish that edge of the roof. Now, the stairs here are going to be facing the opposite way, so we've got a stair turned there, so we're going to place one here. Go one up, one over, break that one. One up, one over, break that one. One up, one over, break that one. And then we're going to do the same on this one here, so just repeat that all the way up. Do the same on this one. Okay, now starting from the big side here, we're just going to join these up straight across like this. Do the same on the next one, all the way to the top. And then in these ones here, guys, just like the other side, we're going to just place two stairs that face in from the side here, like so. And then this final corner here, guys, just bring the stairs all the way across, all the way across, and then two in here, all the way across, and one on that top bit there. And there we go. That is the roof all in place. Now, let's get our stone bricks here, and we're going to just grab, come over to the uh, tower, rather, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, right from that block there on the top of the roof, okay? And then we're just going to raise all of them by four. And then once you've done that, guys, we're going to place one right in the middles like this. Okay? Just like that. Now, grab your dark oak slabs. And where you have these four blocks on the centers here, just place the slab across them. Okay? So it should be one, then three, then three, and then five, I think. Just like this. Now, we're going to go from that roof straight up to this roof. And then we're going to go ahead and put in all our final details. So first of all, put a dark oak plank on all of these gaps on the corners. Then we're going to put a stair on the top half of the stone block and then the bottom half of the full um, dark oak planks. One on the lower part in the corner, like this on this side, one in the corner, one at the bottom, top and then bottom, 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 top, bottom, and then one on the bottom. Just like so. Now, we're just going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, three. And then just place one in the middle like this. Get your stairs, and you're going to place one facing in on the um, on the centers here. And then on the other sides, just place them facing in towards the center. Like this. Then go back to your planks. We're going to place one behind the stairs down here like this and just pretty much loop it all the way around and you should have a one block in the center. Raise it up by one. And it depends how you want the roof to go. I mean, there's, you can raise this higher or lower. So you could put another layer if you want. You could also just put one like this rather than doing another layer. So let me just show you how it looks. You can do like this. And then you can go ahead and go a stair facing that way and that way. This way, this way. And then on the ones on top, place a stair facing inwards. Put a block in the center, go two on top. And then we're going to put some fences on there in a minute. And that gives you a kind of a short kind of stumpy pointy roof. Now, if you wanted to make it taller, okay, we'll go back to where I was a second ago, which was on this layer. And what you could do is extend this layer. So put another full layer all the way around. Then go one on top like this. Um, put your stairs here and then here, here and then here. Now, again, if you wanted to, you could extend the layer. So put these stairs like uh, blocks like this with the stairs on top here. And then one, two and three like that. And you can make the roof taller. 
It really depends how you want it to look. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. I might just put one more block on top of that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then on the very top up here, I'm going to grab my spruce fences. And we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three and four. So it completely depends on you guys how tall you want this bit of the roof. I think that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we've got our spruce fences again. We're going to place one on the corner, one on that bit, one there. Okay, so just wrap them around. Just don't place them in the middles. Now we're going to go ahead and get in some windows. So let's go down here. Okay, and where that bottom block there is on the roof, let's break one, two, three and four. Put a stair at the top and a stair at the bottom like this. Let's go ahead around to this side here and make another one at the same height. Okay, so one there. Like that. And again around this side and we're going to do the same thing. These four blocks here, a stair and a stair. That looks good. And I'm going to leave this inside here as it is. And I'm going to place some white glass, white stained glass panes in the gaps like this for the windows. Grab your, your stone brick stairs, place an upside down one one block below that stair okay just like this that looks really good and then if we go from the side here so if we're facing at this bit of the build we want to go to the end to this end here come all the way down to the bottom we're going to go up one block put an upside down stair there then break one two three four upside down one there a normal stair there and then two blocks in that gap there for another window perfect Okay, right, let's start doing a bit of work here again. So on the corner here, guys, let's put in a slab there. And we're going to do the same over here, right in this gap here. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five of our fences. And then four of them on here. Four in front of this list log. Four in front of this one. This one. This one. And then five in the corner one here like that. Then we're going to go ahead and fill in our windows just like this and then of course we're going to go ahead and get our trapdoors i'm going to use the oak trapdoors again here guys but you can use any trapdoors you want it really is your choice and in fact you know what this mix it up we've got the um them ones on the other build let's go ahead and use the dark oak ones so here let's go ahead and put in two dark oak trapdoors here for these windows we'll do the same thing here all the way across at one side of the window then of course down the bottom here let's go ahead and put in some windows here here and on this one here then get yourself a spruce door and from the inside you're going to place a door like this excellent now here would be a good point to just get yourself a couple of blocks for mixing things up so here i'm going to go ahead and maybe use some stone and we'll also use i think some i suppose we just stick with some stone bricks where are the stone bricks there we go oh we've already got stone bricks out let's get them there so yeah that should do and then for all the cobblestone area down the bottom here guys just go ahead and just briefly add in a few stone just randomly like this you don't have to go too crazy something like that i would also get yourself maybe some cobblestone stairs and what you could do here is you could go ahead above your windows you could even replace those like that and above the door just for that little bit of extra detail and then just place in a couple of stone bricks but don't use too many here because you've got them already on the side you only want the kind of the odd one here and there really something like that just to add a bit of texture and again you can also do that on this area here and you can do it with the slabs as well so you could change up your stone brick slabs and your stone and you can do the same thing down here something like that um, you can even do that one and that one like that just mix it up as you please there is no right or wrong way of doing it but just go ahead and make it your own just like so just make sure you fill it all out as it is. 
At the back here, guys, right on the middle two sections here, I'm going to add in another window here, another window here, and we're going to put in our glass panes. Now, again, we're going to basically repeat on this side exactly what we've done on the opposite side. So let's start with our slabs. Let's place a slab here, a slab here. We're getting our fences, just like that. Get in your windows, and then don't forget your shutters. And again, guys, don't forget you can use any trapdoor that you want for this bit. Where your windows are, don't forget your upside down stairs, just like a little bit of extra detail. And then go ahead and fill in all of your different textures just to make it look a little bit more varied and make the walls look a little bit rougher. Okay, now moving around to this side around here, we're going to go ahead and get our dark oak slabs. Where that window is, we're going to place three across the bottom on the top half of the block and then three across the top on the bottom half of the block. Place two window panes in here and here and make sure you get out your matching um, your matching glass blocks as well and place two of those in the center like this. Now, if you wanted to as well, guys, you can also break the ones behind here and place them in behind like this if you want to make the window wider. Um, it's entirely up to you. Then above here, we've got half a, half a block here, then one block. Okay, then I'm going to break one and two. Place in two glass panes, a slab underneath the edge there, and then we're going to just put in two of our trap doors like this for a little window shower. And I think that is looking pretty good. Now, the only thing I would do now, guys, is go ahead and texture up some of this tower here because it looks a little bit too clean. So for this, I would just suggest using the um, maybe a little bit of mossy, but make sure you use it very sparingly because too much of it will look a bit funny and maybe even a few stone blocks as well. So just go ahead and just texture it up a little bit. It hasn't got to be too crazy. Um, you just really want to create a little bit of a varied texture so that it doesn't look too clean. Okay, and you should end up with something that looks a bit like this. Okay, so it's a pretty simple design, guys, but I think it just looks so nice. Now, the one final thing to do on the outside here, guys, is to go around and just add in some detail. So I like to add in some of the acacia leaves like this. Um, mix them up however you want, something like that. Um, over here, we could do this, bring it down by two. Maybe even reverse the way it goes down, so something like that. You know, just however you want to do it. Just make it just look like it's a little bit greener and just adds a little bit of life to the area. Something kind of like this. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then you can go ahead if you want and get yourself some flower pots and some flowers and just put in a few details like that just to add, again, another little bit of life to the area and just to, you know, just give it a little bit of detail. Once you've done that, be sure to go around to the other side and do exactly the same thing. Okay, that's looking good. Now, before we go into the inside and do our stairway, let's just go ahead and above the windows on the top here, we're going to place a lantern, just like so. And then around the front, we're going to do exactly the same thing right above that window. And then we're going to come down just underneath here. And what we're going to do is grab ourselves a dark oak plank. And we're going to just replace this stair at the back here with the plank and then place a lantern hanging next to it. Just like this. Okay. Now let's go to the inside. And inside here, we're going to go ahead and get in our stairway over here, which is going to be really simple. So right in the center here. So we've got this block here and we should have one block all the way around. And then we're just going to raise this dark oak log all the way to the ceiling. Okay, once you've got this in all the way up to the top, guys, just go ahead, get your stone bricks and just bring these ones all the way down here. Bring these ones here all the way down. And then these ones, you can bring them down until you get to about there. So leave yourself about three blocks height, okay? Just to open up the area here. Now, go ahead and break these planks here, okay? And then we're going to drop down here, break that plank there and that plank there and replace them with a solid stone brick. And we're just going to extend them out by one like this just to create a little bit more of a walkway in here. Now, starting from this one here, you're going to put a slab there and you're going to go up half a block each time as you go around. Okay, just like this. 
and that'll give you a perfect walkway up to the next level. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and just put in a slab there and there. Okay, now if you want to extend it up to the tower, guys, just again, start again, put another stair here. And you just want to start bringing that around as well. Just keep following the same pattern that you did before, bringing one half a block up each time. Now, we want to stop around about here, which is going to be where the windows are. One, two, three, four blocks below the windows. Now, the reason I stop here is because we ain't going to be able to curl it around and make a platform at the top here. So, if we go up to the top here, we can actually break this bit here all the way down until we are two blocks past where the bottom of the windows are, okay? And then, where the window is, go down to here and create yourself a floor, okay? And I'm going to actually do this with the spruce. Like this. And then let me just quickly go to the top here. I'm going to make a little cross here and just hang a lantern in the middle for now. Now, find the corner which you stopped on, which I stopped over here. So let's put in that. Okay. And again, I'm going to hold the lanterns here, here so you can see. So the stairway comes up and it stops over here. Break this one here. And then on the side here, just go ahead and maybe put some fences there and then a slab just there making sure it's the spruce slab and we should have enough room to still go under it yes we do that's great and in that corner there you could put a lantern okay which is just the corner as you're coming upstairs on the floor and anywhere along here will be fine as long as you can still walk underneath it it's perfectly fine now, because we've got this little bit here, we're going to get ourselves some ladders. And we're just going to literally go one, two, three, four, five. And then that brings us up to here to a little room. And you can guys can do whatever you want with this room you want at all. At the very top here, I would suggest putting in a light up the top there just to brighten it up. And then go ahead and just maybe put some slabs into the top part of the corners like this just to create a little bit of a sort of sort of shape to the roof and that is about it guys we can now go down our stairs it's all lit up here nice so it's not dark at all underneath here let's go ahead and put another lantern just there and again that keeps the stairway nice and bright as well all right guys well that just about brings us to the end of this tutorial so as always i thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it please don't forget to smash that like button because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this in the future and if you're new to the channel then please consider subscribing just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time i post a new video but for now this is blue nerd signing out and i will catch you guys in the next one